Hello everyone, my name is Toby. Welcome to my channel, That Houseplant Guy. Uh, today I have planned something a bit different than my usual videos. Today actually I'm gonna get my hands dirty and plant this little guy here. So this hardly philodendron that I bought like three days ago, I would say. Uh, and I will plant it into this hanging planter or in this hanging pot actually here. Because actually um, I love hanging plants. I really, really love them because they really tie a room together. I still have a, an empty hook here in my living room and I'm going to use this plant hanger here and this plant to fill out that spot. So I thought, why not do a video about this? So let's get started. So guys, let's get started. Uh, as you can see here, I have the plant. Um, this plant actually consists of three um, different parts. So you have a little uh, pot that will collect the water, the excess water when you water your plant. Uh, you can simply I'll show you here, there's like three holes in here and three clips here. So you just have to line up the clips with the holes, pin it on and that's how it holds them. And the third part here is actually then the, this hanging mechanism that we're going to use. Uh, that actually you have to set up first. So that's uh, actually something that we will start doing right now. Um, before I often actually, I didn't start with this one and then in the end I, I realized, oh, I have not this basically finished plant and I still have to, to, to create now this hanging contraption basically and that it's way dif more difficult if you already have a plant inside the pot. So I actually, what I like to do now is already sort of prepare it beforehand and then, then really it gets a bit easier than, than when you already have the plant inside. So let's start doing that. As you can see here, the pot basically has this lip on, on, the, on the top. And basically what we will try to do now is get this hook here underneath and then basically like tilt it over more or less and then it will snap in and keep everything in place. So basically what you want to do is really get into the bottom here. It's actually quite hard because the, the plastic pot as you can see, the plastic pot is really, really strong actually. So it's a hard plastic. And this one is also quite hard to change it. So actually normally I, I try it in this direction first to ju just make the, the plastic a bit more loose to open it up a bit. And then I hope you can see this. I take the first one. So I take the first one and I go underneath here. And then hopefully with a bit of force, it will snap in. It always takes a while, especially for the first one. Now we heard the snap and there it is basically. So it actually, is, as you can see here, I'll show you from underneath, it actually it really fits perfectly in there. And that is already done the first one that we have here holding it. So let's continue with the second one because what I like to do is basically do, there yeah, you have in total three, as you can see here. And I like to, before I start really potting up the plant, I start to fix already two. So I still have one open here that I can then easily still do in the end, but I have enough space to put the plant in in the meantime, basically. So let's do the second one, which is always, in my opinion, the hardest because it has a lot of tension on here. So it really gets quite hard. That was not it. So really you have to make sure like you put the plastic Maybe we, we loosen it a bit first again. So we go here, for example, where it's easy to, to bring it. Like here. We put it basically in the wrong direction first, but it really helps to, to loosen the plastic clip a bit because they are brand new. So it is actually quite hard in the beginning to get them. Now it seems that it's a bit more open. So we try it now here, basically. What you also have to be mindful of, you can see here, you have these spots in between. So if you hit it exactly at this spot, it will be very hard to actually get it, get it done. So let's try it here. I'll try to show you from the other side. So here, see, now it's slipped in and then you just adjust it a slight, tiny little bit and it holds. The third one would then be here and then the pot would already be finished. But of course, first we need a plant inside here. So. Basically what I like to start with is actually to put some of the soil that I'm going to use inside here first. So the soil that I'm using at the moment is uh, this coco coir mixture I can show you here with this little clay pebbles just for aeration and for uh, water to flow a bit more freely through it. 
So I'm gonna take a handful of this, prepare the pot. Um, what I'm doing now is actually I'm keeping this, this bottom on top, um, top of the, the pot, so clipped in, because of course at first, when you put in the soil, a lot of it will fall through, otherwise through the drainage holes. And this way it falls into this little pot and doesn't mess up my table. I mean, I did put some old paper bags on it, but of course it's always better if we try to avoid too much of a mess here. So we put in some soil. That's enough for the beginning, I would say. I like to press it a bit, but not too much, so I don't want to put it too close together so it doesn't get too dense. Then we take the plant, we take it out of the nursery pot. This one, I think, should come out quite easily. I'm trying also to do it over the pot here, so I will use some of the soil, actually. So I'm not removing the soil from the plant. I try to actually keep most of it on. You can see here the root ball of the plant. It's really healthy. I must admit I already checked it when I bought it, because I like to check also the root systems before I uh, buy a plant. And this one actually had really healthy roots. So I'm trying to put some of the soil in and then just place the plant in the pot the way I'm gonna think it's gonna look good. So of course more in the middle. That might take a bit because once it's in, it's in. So trying also to press it a bit. I'm trying to remove a bit of the top layer of soil because I like to rather have the coco coir on the top. So you can see basically here now, it is in the middle. Of course, there's around it a lot of free space still that we now have to fill up with the soil then. We still have this one then in the end here hanging out. So this one actually has to be moved over here then. So I'm already putting it in place where it will then later on be. So everything is then already set up to really finish this whole thing and be done with it. So now we're gonna use the coco coir, put it here inside. We just fill out these little greases around the plant now, basically, with the coco coir. Um, just make sure it's really quite dense. So, one more. This side, I would say, is finished. Because, really, I'd like to press it a bit in with the fingers, and if it's basically at the same height as the rest of the plant, then I know it will be enough, because once you water it later on still, it will go a bit further down still, so also keep that in mind. So it doesn't matter if there's a bit too much soil, or you have the feeling there's a bit too much soil in the beginning, because once you water it, it actually pressures, it puts pressure on it still, it, it makes it all a bit more compact, and then it will fit quite well, actually. So I'd rather use a bit more soil than I would have maybe expected first. So here, just make sure that the plant is really sitting straight, so the roots can also really get into the new soil and thrive in there. Actually, this pot I have mainly for all of my plant, hanging plants, because I really enjoy this. this they are very stable. Um, I know there's other ones that, for example, come without this little tray for the excess water in the bottom, but I really I don't like them because I have my hanging plots, pots mainly inside, I think I have one on the balcony, but the other ones I have really inside and I don't want the excess water to just drip on whatever is underneath the hanging pot. So these little little trays are actually really great. So we clean it up a bit, make sure we actually went around the whole thing, make sure we put a bit of pressure on it to see if everything is sitting tight and we don't have any air bubbles in there. What I like to do then again is a bit to just hit it on the on the table. Basically this looks gonna look probably horrible on the camera but has to be done. And then we have this one little clip here still. What you can use for example, because now this one we won't be able to, to, to try at the beginning on the pot to, to loosen it a bit, this one here. So what I tend to do, it comes with these little plastic things here basically. So I just try to loosen it a bit with this one before I put it in the pot. It really makes it easier. So the first pot I, I tried this with actually, I struggled a lot. Because first of all, yes, I put it in the plant already before. And then the problem was also that uh, I didn't loosen it enough first. And that really, really made it difficult then to fit this one. So you really want to get the plastic going. Get a good grip here. Go underneath and really don't be afraid to 
put some force into it so the plastic won't break. It is quite stable and once you hear that clacking sound, you know everything went well. Uh, and the pot basically is finished. So, maybe smaller things that I tend to do then. See if I'm, if I'm happy with where the leaves are concerning the, this hanging contraption basically. So just sort out smaller leaves, make sure you are, they are in the way you want to have them. Growing, for example, uh, probably this will be the front first for my plant. Uh, what I then do is taking this little tray off. There's a bit of soil always in there, so I clean this out, put it back into the container where I have my soil. So guys, I just wanted to really quickly show you the final result of the hanging plant then. Uh, you see I had a hook here. Actually, I put a bit of, of cord there so to make it hang a bit lower. Um, just uh, This is probably just for now. We'll see if I maybe get like an iron, ch iron chain or something to, to, to hang it here a bit more. But basically, yeah, now it's hanging here. Um, what I will do here as it is in the corner, I will try to, to, to rotate it as, as often as possible, so probably once a month. So it can really grow in evenly. But yeah, that's all there is to say about this plant hanger. I think I, I really am gonna enjoy it here. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Um, uh, if you have any questions on the plant hanger or the plant, uh, just leave it in the comments. Um, I would also love to know if the plant hangers you usually use are the same as this one or if they are completely different. I always love to see if there's different plant hangers out there that I can try. And if you like this video, of course, leave a like. If you like this channel, feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.